Good morning. It's 4.25 a.m. About to do six miles. Have to do nine altogether today. So I'll do six this morning and then three this afternoon. It's raining. You know what tastes really good at four in the morning? A banana. I had the best banana of my life this morning. What a day. Anyways, I'm going to knock this out. Talk to you this afternoon. All right, round two. Did six this morning. I think it's a, it's much more manageable when you split it up like that, for me anyway. And I think it's because I am a slow runner. So, you know, some of the faster runners, you know, eight minute, seven thirties per mile, they can knock out a nine mile run in under an hour. Me, not the case, a little bit slower, which is fine. Like come to, I've come to terms with that. If I wanted to be faster, I probably could, but like, I just, I don't have the desire right now to put in that work. I'm wearing the same outfit that I did this morning. I, I figured, you know, we're just going to get sweaty again. Just a quick three bang it out um my my clothes were still a little damp when i put them on so that's fun i really am just like i said we're just gonna get it done a little run through town a little pop in some music and just hit it um wow it is warm out a little humid didn't expect the sun to be that strong but we got it done three miles in 29 minutes which is pretty good i think my best 5k time is like 26. 9.43 pace for three miles. If only I could keep that pace up for 9, 10, 11, 26.2 miles, then we'd be styling, but I feel like I might die and I, and I just, I just I cannot. We get to do that all over again. Six in the morning, three at night. Don't know what this is. So I think we're doing pretty good. What do you think? Let me know in the comments. Wow, hold on. I'm just finishing up a nine miler. I was gonna do six, but I was feeling decent. I really don't wanna run another three miles after work today, so it's humid. Uh, I didn't bring enough fuel to do nine miles, so I'm kind of bonking right now. I'm hungry. That was dumb. I can really, I really bargain with myself while I'm like starting out my run. Uh, I'm always trying to talk myself into doing things, you know. And today was one of those days I just gave in. We're almost home. Got like two tenths of a mile. And uh, yeah, that's it for today. Uh, tomorrow's a rest day. Hi. Happy Thursday. I thought today was a rest day. It is not a rest day. I had to run four miles in like 44 minutes at an 11.10 pace. Just, just tooting along at a turtle pace. I'm tired. I've already put in like 31 miles this week. I have a 16 miler to do on Saturday. I also have to work on Saturday. So that's gonna be interesting fitting that in. But yeah, so last night I just, I like conked out at like 8.30 and uh, I'm just like, I'm feeling it. I'm in, a, I'm in a new window today, by the way. Do we like this? I was like trying to think back, like the last time I didn't have any soreness in my body. And I think I was like, probably a child. Or maybe, actually last year, like two weeks after my marathon, I just like did nothing. Like just nothing really at all. No exercising, just like, just recovered. And uh, I felt pretty good then, like didn't really have a ton of like soreness, but other than that, I'm just just living with daily leg soreness. Ankles, knees, hips, back, arms. Just body pain. So there's that. But I try to look at it like this. I don't know if I've said it before, but like you can either choose to be sore because you're exercising or you can choose to be sore because you're not. And what I, what I mean by that is if you don't move your body, like our bodies were made to move. So if you don't move your body and you're just quite sedentary, you're gonna develop some problems. You're gonna have back pain. 
you're gonna have neck pain, you're gonna have, I don't know, like health issues arise when you're not like exercising or like remaining active. All right, that is my motivational speech. I am gonna go just, I'm gonna shower, I'm gonna chillax, relax and chill. There for certain is a rest day tomorrow and I will see you on Saturday for the 16 mile run. Love you, bye. Three miles into this 16 mile run, so just a cool half marathon to go. No big deal. This is a very busy road, but it's a pretty road. It's not too hilly. There's like maybe two hills I can think of. Just five more miles to go before we get the refuel point. I'm feeling pretty good so far. I have to pee. There aren't many places to do that on this route. Might have to pop a squat in the woods. We'll see. Okay, I'm back at the refueling spot. And I just rebraided my hair because that was a mess. And uh, I had a cliff block at the 45 minute mark. It was only 90 calories. Some of them are more calories than the than others, so I just have to check those. So I don't I don't think I'm taking in enough. So I'm gonna actually eat. This might be risky. I'm gonna eat a gel and then a couple apricots. I need to get more of these. I'm running low. There were 32 grams of carbs for five pieces. Shouldn't mess me up too much. While you're running, um, you start to feel kind of like, ugh, like this is really hard. And then like you have a gel or a, like a something, like some, some sugar source. And then the next like three or four miles, you're like, this is great. I can do this all day. And then you start feeling shitty again. Then you eat something, you feel great. Start feeling shitty, eat something, feel great. Which is like, Rolling with the homies, you know? It was actually a very pleasant run. I took my time. I can't believe we have to run back to a different town now that we've fueled. Oh my God, she's insane. Check it in with y'all in a little bit. <laughs> Okay. We did it. I'm absolutely destroyed. It's like 83 degrees. What is, what am I looking at? Oh, this, Jesus. I'm hallucinating. I should have packed more electrolytes and water, but I did pack a huge water bottle and leave it in my truck. So I have that. I just had a stroop waffle and now it was like a McDonald's, like a mile up the road. I think I'm gonna get a big, disgusting burger. My legs are wrecked. 17.76 miles for Independence Day, you know? I, kind of festive, why not? Tomorrow and Monday are supposed to be a rest day and I think I'm, in fact, just going to take rest days. I think I have a 20 miler next Saturday, so. Overall, feeling pretty good. I think race day I'm gonna be like, what the fuck am I doing? I don't know why I do this. I really don't. Just to do it, I guess. Out of spite. I don't know. Hope you guys have a good week. Training what you're training. I don't know. Just keep on keeping on. Alright, love you. Bye.